Okay, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, good. Everybody, are you ready? Good night, teacher. Hey, hello. Good evening, Sarah. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. Good to hear that. So we have Gavi, Luis, Esther, Mauricio, Mauricio Larcon, and we have Sarah and Dinora. Well, we're gonna get started because we have a lot of material to cover today. Why don't we finish? We did the knowledge check yesterday, right? Yes. Okay, yes, good. Remember we were practicing with these verbs, right? So we said that the past tense of wait was? Waited, right? And in this part, what was the negative form for call? Just like a, like a review, right? What is the negative form? Didn't call. Okay, yes, didn't. Didn't call, okay, very good. How about the next one? I just watched. Okay. And the next one, on Saturday. I visited. I visited. I visited. Okay, good. What else? Me salen porque hice el ejercicio antes con otro grupo, right? A usted no le va a salir así. Now, we talked. And? Listen. Okay, ID. Uh, remember that in these exercises, in your platform, hay que tener mucho cuidado con los espacios, right? Si ustedes lo ponen aquí, a veces ya con uno o dos espacios, no se los reconoce, right? And this one. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we... Cooked. Okay. The next one. The negative. Didn't work. Didn't. Work. didn't. Okay. Exactly. Didn't work. Okay. And the negative for study. Didn't study. Didn't study. And the last one. Mail and shopped with the double P. We submit it, and then we have all of them are correct. Okay, then you say on Friday night, I waited for a phone call but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched TV. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mail, sorry, to the mall and shopped. Okay, questions in this moment. 
No questions so far? No teacher. Okay, good. Now uh, this is the sound and now by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past tense verbs, okay? Now let me show you this. When pronouncing simple past verb, the ed ending of simple past verb has three different tenses. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t worked, watched. These verbs end in d cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in in. Invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or it sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our atoms apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my atoms apple. This is called a voiceless sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a B sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has B sound. So we pronounce the past as blended. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, A, No se escucha, dicho. Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called. Cleaned. Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay. 
questions? Fixed. Okay, here's where you have to to go on the, wait a minute, it's not, it's not here. It is, There is a link where you can go. I must have been in the previous one then. does not appear now. Okay, this is the link where you have to click. Okay, you just click here. I will also copy it in the chat just in case. Just in case you don't get it in your. In your platform, right? In your, but you click here. And then it will take you to to this side bakaroo.com and then here then you have to click and you will be able to practice the pronunciation of these verbs right the ones that you have in the video okay so then and after that you can share it back in the boxes Okay, in the voices that we had. Now, do you have any questions in this moment about the, the pronunciation and the writing of the verbs in, simple, uh, in the simple past regular forms? <laughs> yes. Who? Uh, uh -huh. Sí. No, mi pregunta es con respecto a la pronunciación de permítame. Uh -huh. Aquí lo tengo. Porque dice que puede ser depende, o sea, yo entiendo que la pronunciación va a depender de de la porque aquí nos ponen, por ejemplo, eh, pronunciación final de la T es de la P, K, S, H, S, H. Uh -huh. O sea, las que terminan en esa letra, al final, al agregarle la ED, se va a pronunciar como una T, algo así. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Ah. That's correct. Uh -huh. ah, y, y, este, y, esa, y esa como regla general se, se va a aplicar siempre en, 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 en verbos que lleven esta como especie de, de letra final, por decirlo así. Que sean regulares, verbos regulares. Que sean regular, tienen que ser regulares. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Ah. Always. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will show you another video. Okay. Uh, let me see. Can you see this one? See, I can see. Okay, good. Today's podcast is on the reasons why the past. Okay, turn off your microphones, please, and pay attention and tell me. 
Okay. Past tense of verbs in English with the ed ending are pronounced in three different ways. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now this is similar to the other video, but with all the examples, right? Now pay attention to it. T, d, or id. You may have noticed that in English, past tense verbs with an ed ending are pronounced in three different ways. T, d, or id. For example, if I say the past tense verb walked, as in, I walked away, what is the last sound that you hear in the verb? Walked. The ed verb ending sounds like a t, walked, even though it ends in the letter d. What do you hear when I say smelled, as in, it smelled bad? The ed verb ending sounds like a d, smelled. And when I say visited, as in, I visited New York City, how did I pronounce that ed ending? Visited. The ed verb ending sounds like id, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the differences in past tense verb ed pronunciation. But don't be surprised if most Americans can't explain these rules to you. The truth is, Americans make these changes in sound without even noticing. Intro. Why the sound changes. Place your fingertips on the front of your neck and pronounce the following words. What do you feel on your fingers when you say the underlying sound? Vow. Fake. Zebra. Snake. When we pronounce voiced sounds, our vocal cords vibrate when we say those sounds. Did you feel the vibration? When we pronounce voiceless sounds, our vocal cords do not vibrate. No vibration. This vibration or lack of vibration then carries forward to the following sound in the word. Therefore, this vibration or lack of vibration explains why we pronounce the past tense of verbs in three voiced or voiceless ways. T, d, or id. T, final sound. Verbs ending in voiceless sounds, p, k, th, f, s, sh, ch, cause the ed ending to be pronounced as the voiceless t, with no vocal cord vibration. Listen and repeat. He popped a balloon. Popped. They talked a lot. Talked. She frothed a cup of milk. Frothed. I laughed at the movie. Laughed. She kissed a frog. Kissed. We brushed it off. Brushed. I reached around for it. Reached. D, final sound. Verbs ending in the voiced b, g, v, v, z, z, j, m, n, ng, r, l, Cause the ed ending to be pronounced as a voiced d. Listen and repeat. It bobbed up and down. Bobbed. He begged her to stay. Begged. She breathed loudly. Breathed. They loved it. Loved. We raised her expectations. Raised. 
they bridged the gap. Bridged. I claimed it was mine. Claimed. They banned new members. Banned. She banged into the chair. Banged. He cleared it up. Cleared. I rolled up the paper. Rolled. Ud or id, final sound. Verbs ending in the sounds t or d will cause the ed ending of a verb to be pronounced as the syllable ud or id. Listen and repeat. I visited the Empire State Building. Visited. She edited the research paper. Edited. We ended the game early. Ended. He breaded the chicken. Breaded. These ED pronunciation rules are particularly important because in English we connect our speech when we have a word that ends in a consonant and is followed by a word that begins with a vowel. In this case, the way you say the verb's ED ending will be heard loudly and clearly. For example, he walked away is pronounced he walked away. Did you hear the t in walked clearly? See the lesson on connected speech and linking for Okay. But you can see the rest, the rest is similar, but with other phrases, right? That you can, you can always practice having these sounds similar to these ones. Okay. Now, these are, for example, the sounds that you will see that if you have P, K, Sh, watch, laugh, like F, breathe, like a T, kiss, kiss, dance, like an S, and fix. Then you're going to pronounce at the end T, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed danced, fixed. Okay? One volunteer who wants to practice. Gabby, can you? Gabriela, no? I teacher. Okay. All right. Bye. Uh-huh. Okay, Gabriela and then Godofredo, right? Go. Yes. Okay, Gabi. This one. Yeah. Um, health. Uh -huh. Health. 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 Look. Looked. Look. Uh huh. Look. Washed. Uh huh. Washed. 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 La, the e, la e, omita, la, right? No sound. Okay. okay. Watch. Watch. Loud. Laugh. 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 Uh -huh. Breathed. 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 Kids. Kissed. Kids. Kissed. Kids. Okay. Dance. Danced. Fixed. 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 Okay, good. Fixed. This is the practice that you have to go, okay? Uh, okay. At the beginning, you can say, look, I'm all. See, help. 
was the heart uh, looked al final va la fuerza de voz to say looked Look. washed watched okay aha uh -huh. godofredo okay helped okay help look okay watch okay watch uh, loud left left una f left left okay it's una z breath breath Kit. Kissed. Kit. Dance. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. So this is, you know, with a T at the end, right? With a T at the end. Okay. Another one who, Sarah, do you want to try with this one? Cold. Clean. Cold. Called it, cleaned, cleaned. Uh -huh. offered, offered, damage, love it, used, 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 sin la e, used, used, uh -huh. followed, 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 enjoyed, okay, amazed, amazed. 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 Ok, good. Recuerden que estos sonidos van a hacer que le vibren las cuerdas vocales. Es ahí, cold. Entonces, cuando hay vibración, clean. Cleaned. Offer. Er, er, offered. Damage. G, G, G. Damaged. D. Love, loved, loved, used, 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 followed, enjoyed, and amazed. You can practice it putting your fingers here in your throat, right? These two fingers, you can do it, just hand here. Help. Si ustedes se ponen acá y dicen helped, se dan cuenta que esos son Ok, so these are only, no tienen, no tienen sonido, voice. There is no vibration here. Washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced. Fixed, okay. Wanted, needed. Okay. Any other question? This is about practice. This is pura 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 practica, right? That you have to, that you have to do. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, let me show you. This is about listening. And here are the rules if you want to write, okay? For example, in general, in general, you say if the verb ends in consonant, return, returned. Help, helped. Only ed. Estas son las reglas para escribirlos, right? Then return, returned. Help, helped. If the verb ends in E, add D. Live, only D. Lived. Create, created, only the D. Die, died, only the D. And here, there are, let's say, three forms or two. In one syllable words, if the word ends in a consonant vowel, Consonant combination, 
double the final consonant and add ed. Okay? Example, you say hope. Okay, hope. Saltar, hoped. Monosyllable, un solo sonido, hope. Okay, and then you have consonant, vowel, consonant. Then you have double P, hopped. A raft. You say one syllable. Then you have consonant, vowel, consonant, raft. Other example, shop. One sound, shop. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Tiene que ser la terminación. Ok. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Y un solo sonido, shop. Hay excepciones que ya las vamos a ver. Shop, shopped. Then double P, E, D. For example, A, E, I, O, U, W, X, and Y. This ones are exceptions. Okay. Those are exceptions. Questions in this moment? No. Yes? No? Okay. Good. In the other one, we have the W, X, and Y. This one, this one's. W, X, and Y, they are not considered consonant sounds. No van como sonidos consonantes. Este es monosyllable, vowel. Tiene vowel, uh, consonant, vowel, consonant. Pero el sonido es de o, bow, 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 bow. Entonces, bowed. Only ed. No se pone dos veces la W o doble W. Mixed. Then you have mixed, mixed. So monosyllable, mix, but only ed. And then we have play. Is L, A, and Y. Play is one sound, similar to shop. Okay, in it, four letters. It's one sound. Okay, play, and then you have ED. And the number four. The friendly consulting group, uh, we can help you, we can help to the other business to, for example, to make okay. a market service. So please, no, uh, yes, the microphone, please. It's not a question from here. Okay, so the other one we have, in words, four. In words of two or more syllables that end in a vowel consonant combination, double the last uh, consonant only, right? Prefer, el acento acá, el estrés, preferred. Visit, aquí va el inicio, they went visited. Aquí se duplica por la doble, por el... El acento por la tilde en this one now, right? Recuerden que en inglés solo va la fuerza de voces, solo cuando se habla no va escrita. And the last one is con la Y, right? If it is before the Y, there is an, a, cons a consonant, then you say worried, worried. Carry, carried. But if before the Y you have a vowel, a, O, okay, or A here, then you have play, played, annoy, annoyed. Okay, for example, study or studied. Study is in the number five or number six. Five or six. Que regla es? Rule five or rule number six? Five. Five, correct. Five. Cry. Five or six. Five. Huh? 
five or six? Cry. Cry. Cry five. is five. Five. Okay. And a stay? Six. Is the number six, okay? So you see, you don't need to remember exactly the, uh, the rule, but just by looking, you know that is, esas son las reglas and that's the way it is, right? For example, if, uh, eh, esto es cuando son verbos regulares, right? Regulares. Because there are some other, like for example, va a encontrar un verbo como fly. Okay, que podría ser, diría usted, ah, es este, right? Pero este es un verbo irregular. Entonces es flu. Ok. Entonces esto también se trata de que saber conocer los verbos que ya los vamos a ir viendo. Regular and irregular. Ok. Estas son seis reglas para cómo se escriben los verbos irregulares. And y ya vimos la pronunciación to, que también tiene su regla, right? That's why they are regular verbs. Porque hay reglas for them, right? But in the case of the irregular, Just yes, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, questions in this moment? Okay, no questions. No questions? Mm. Okay, good. Hey, I will, uh, let me see, I will share. Okay, here, there you have the link. Okay. And uh, yes, yes, I will send you later the page two. Para que tengan las reglas ahí escritas, no problem. Para que las practiquen. Okay. Yes, I will, I will send you this one, the Word document to the chat at the end of the class, okay? Okay, any other question? No? Okay, remember no, that teacher. Okay, remember sure. that this this one pronunciation and writing is or spelling, la ortografía is about practice, 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 practice. Teacher. Okay, little little by little you will learn the other the other verbs. Yes, Godofredo? Aparte de las tres terminaciones en pasado, mm -hmm. solamente esas tres existen. In, in the regular verbs, yes. In the, for the pronunciation? Sí. Yes, yes, only three. No more. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank With you. With that one, con eso ya está hecho in, in, the, in the regular verbs, right? But a, no, a lot of practice. And for the, para la escritura, there are six. Hay seis reglas ahí that help you a lot. Okay. 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 All right. Now we are going to see the other verbs. The other verbs are the irregular verbs. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. These verbs, okay, are actions, but there are no rules. There are no rules uh, for the Let's say for the spelling, no se puede diferenciar de un verbo regular el otro al verlos. Solo ya por la práctica, la lectura en, y el conocimiento del vocabulario, right? But no son muchos, right? They, they are less. Now listen. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. 
They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Regular verbs. Sentences. Okay. Now, tell me some sentences in past tense. For example, I had, uh, let's say, um, I had, I had, I had. What? 50. 50 dollars before I went to the supermarket. Okay. I have two verbs here, right? I have had. Okay, and I also have went in past tense. Okay, tell me another sentence using irregular verbs. No ed, no verbs with ed, only verbs that are different from the present. Uh, question teacher. Uh huh. Nos está pidiendo que hagamos oraciones con verbos así. Irregular. Eh, irregular. Ajá, ah, in past tense. Irregular ah. in past. Yes. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw a croco. A crocodile. 
in my garden. In my garden this morning. I live in Miami. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's it. Okay, I saw a crocodile. You see, so past tense of. What is the present of so? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, what is the present of so? Si. Si, correct. And the present of have? Have. Have, okay, have. And the present of uh, went? Oh. Go. <laughs> Go. Go. Okay, the present of so we said is C. Si. Okay. Another sentence? Help me, help me. Um, I, I went for a walk in the park with my dog. I went for a walk in the park uh -huh, with my dog. Okay, there we have, go. Okay, another sentence. Try to think of other verbs, different verbs. I, I won the game last Saturday. I won the game, yes. Uh -huh, I won the game last Saturday. Okay, what else? What is the present of won? Win. Win, okay, win. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't be shy, tell me sentences. Don't let me alone, help me, help me. Yes, Luis? Ceci, Kevin. I went. Uh, Ceci, yes. I went to the beach last year. I went, this is with go. I went to the beach last year. Okay. Uh, Last year. Okay, good. Now, take. What is the past tense of take? To, to, creo, no sé. Took. Okay, a, a sentence with took. Tell me a sentence using took. I took a picture. Very good. I took a picture of my, took a picture of my daughter. Daughter. Okay, very good. I, I took the bus and went to the cinema. I took the bus. I took the bus and went to the cinema. There you go. Ah, you see, you can use more. Así es como se practican estos verbos, escribiendo oraciones, right? Es la mejor forma de memorizarlos en un contexto, así palabra por palabra en contexto, que hay algo que les sirva. Okay. Por ejemplo, ¿qué comieron hoy en el desayuno? Yo comí frijoles. Ajá, uh -huh, in past tense. I. I ate. Ate. Uh -huh. Beans. Beans. In the. And eggs. In the bed. And eggs for break. Fast. Ba. Okay. Past present of eight. Eat. Eat. Okay. Another one. Piensen en algo más que hicieron en el día. I drank uh, mm -hmm. coffee with milk. 
Wow, that's nice. I drunk coffee with milk. With milk? Okay. Yes. A present of drunk drink. Okay. Another one. Piensen en todo lo que han hecho el día o ayer. I saw uh, a pretty bunny on, on my garden. I saw a pretty bunny. Like, like rabbit? Yes. Uh -huh, bunny, right? In my garden. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. I arose 5 a.m. I got up. Uh -huh. I, I got I, up. Uh -huh. No okay. puedo usar arroz como levantarme. Eh, no, this is a, a rise, es como elevarse. So, ah, ok, ah, ok. Se ve get up, say get up. Uh -huh. I got okay. up at? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Ok, 5 a.m., good. I get up. And you can just... Another one? I, I drove work. my car. I, I drove. Oops. I drove my car. Uh -huh, which is drive. Okay. Uh -huh. I work uh, hard all the day. Okay, work is es un verbo regular. Work. Work. Uh -huh. Este está bien, pero la elaboración está buena, pero es del otro grupo de verbos, del verbo con ed. Ok. Ajá, ok. Word. Okay, pero aquí no queremos, aquí somos racistas. Solo, solo irregulares. <risa> ok. Ok. What else? I sent an uh, email. I sent. Ya ven cómo se van recordando de muchos verbos que ya conocen. I sent an email. An, oops, an email. Emails. Ok. Ese es uno, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, puede ser I sent emails in, in plural. In the present, sent. Ok. So this is one exercise that you can do. Ok. In order to, uh, to practice. Uh, the verbs, all the verbs that you want. Okay, so you can you can check these sentences, and tomorrow you can put more. And y leerlas en voz alta, right? And to, uh, when you do personal, when you do personal exercise, personal practice, ahí mezclos, no problem, right? You can use regular and irregular. Y después las lee las oraciones, right? Okay. For example, this one you can go, I had $50 before I went to the supermarket. Léala. I saw a crocodile in, uh, in my garden. In my garden this morning. Okay. I went for a walk in the park with my dog. I went to the beach last year. And then this is the best way to practice a... Aprender las palabras en contexto, right? Vea un verbo, tómelo y póngale una frase de algo que usted hizo. Ok, in past tense. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, if we use the verb, uh, let's say, kill. No me voy a decir que nunca han matado porque sí. Ok. What would you okay. say in past tense? Uh, killed. I killed uh -huh. a mosquito. Okay. At the time 
last night. Obviamente no creo que más gente va last night. Ok. I killed a mosquito last night. Ok. What else? Then you think about the verb. And then you think about something that you did with that action in the past. And then you use it. For example, what is the, how do you say leer in English? Yeah. Read. Read. read, right? Read. Uh, and the past tense of read? Teacher, eso le iba a preguntar porque hay un ejercicio donde sale eso y el mismo. <laughs> Alguien me preguntó ayer que, que cuáles eran los verbos que escriben igual, va? Uh -huh. Esos tres formas. Ok, this is the one. Este es uno de ellos. Solo, y la pronuncia, es que es el inglés es... Por lo digo, es mejor aprenderlo en contexto. Eh, si usted dice, I read, present, the newspaper... Eh, the newspaper every morning. ¿Es en pasado o en, o en presente? Algo que uno hace todos los días, right? Present. Es pasado. Y en el I say, ajá, uh -huh. es presente. I read the, the newspaper yesterday. ¿Ya? Entonces, esta palabra o esta frase, right here, de expression of time, nos va a dar la pauta para la pronunciación. Y decir, I read the newspaper every morning. I read the newspaper in my house every morning. But if you see yesterday, I read the newspaper yesterday. Aquí es read. Read, read. Present, read. Past tense, read. Ok. okay eh, no hay como confundirse, como le digo, porque uno usa la frase en pasado. Si yo digo, the, the, I read the newspaper last night, it's read. I read the newspaper last week, it's last week. And there are some others. Y hay otros que sí son iguales. I like hit and hit. Pero el, la pronunciación es la misma. Pero dice, I hit the car this afternoon. This is in past tense, right? Okay. I hit the car, uh, what, when I am angry. Okay, this is presente. Aquí, golpeé el carro en la tarde, today, and I hit the car when I am angry. Yo le pego el carro con usted enojado, right? And the principle here, the pronunciation is the same. Hit, hit. Okay. But this one is different. Read and read. Okay. So these are some other examples that you will have here so that you can check for a review. And Okay, for tomorrow you complete the, the knowledge check. Say so copy the conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense. For example, you have a good summer. What would be here the question? The question? To complete this question? What word do we need? Say. Huh? Did. Did. Uh-huh. And you're going to write here, did you have a good summer? Y aquí viene la respuesta, yes, I did. In the past tense, I, 
Hub. I have. I have. Okay. And there you go. Okay. This is for you to practice. And tomorrow we lo chequeamos entre todos. We check it together and see what we have. Okay, everybody. Okay. Today you have a lot of a lot of information, but don't worry because it's uh, it's information it's information that you need practice. Okay, it's about practice. It's not something that you have to uh, to master for tomorrow. Okay, so this is the information that you have, and little by little you will increase the vocabulary. Okay, everybody. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow, same time, in the same place. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you. Tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.